Hey everyone, so, you know, in all my free time I've been uh, kind of looking over MHP Gardener's um, channel with all the hydroponics that he's been, been doing and, um, you know, to be honest, he's really gotten my attention, um, especially the cracky method, it looks pretty cool, it looks very simple, easy, a lot easier than I ever would have thought hydroponics would be. And then break down the formulas it was great. Um, so today I went and ventured off to a hydroponic store in my neighborhood. It's a really nice store. It's pretty cool. And uh, I can't remember. It's called True Green Hydroponics or something like that. And picked up two of these little baskets. A tiny one and a larger one. Um, no, this was free. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do it in these little guys. I know it's not as big or a gallon like the one that he showed in his video, but you know, I just want to give it a test. So I'm going to go ahead and enlarge make this bowl, this hole a little bit larger so I can fit this one in there. Um, with this one, it was free, and I have a second one. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and cut the lip off as well, set this in there, see how it goes. Test my, um, my luck at it. And I'm going to go, also, I'm going to go ahead and pick up some some rocks. Uh, I didn't grab it today because I was walking. I walked up to, the, you know, about a mile up west. <clears throat> and I don't want to bring back, you know, carry a big old sack of rocks. So I'm going to have to return there. But I have time for that because I got to get my seed started first. So I went and picked up some romaine lettuce. Um, I know he, MHP mentioned that these are very aggressive. And I was actually looking for butter lettuce, but didn't see any. Um, so I'm going to plant these up. I also picked up some of this. Uh, it's Dynagro. The M M P M M K is 936. So that's uh, 9 nitrogen, 3 yeah, phosphate, potash, also has calcium, magnesium, cobalt, copper, iron. Zinc. There's some good stuff in here. It says one teaspoon per gallon of water. I have a little um, hydro plant actually in there. Here, let me go grab it. Be right back. Alright, so I'm going to grab this thing. It's called a hydro plant. And uh, plug it in. There's a bubbler in there or a pump that circulates the water. And this has been doing pretty good for me. Um, this is a Trinidad Scorpion. One of the things I've noticed with this plant is the color of the leaves. I mean, look, I don't know, it kind of looks almost uh, slightly sunburned. You know, it's yellowish. It doesn't look very healthy. The newer leaves come out nice dark green. Once they get large, mature, then they start changing colors on me. I think it might be because of the feed. The feed that came in with it was just a basic nitrogen. And it didn't really have an NP, NPK. Um, reading on it, so I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this stuff a try. Let's see what it is. At least I know what's in it. That way I can gauge what works, what doesn't work. This puppy has some pretty good roots on it. Nice and clean. Pretty, really thin, super thin. And um, I'm actually thinking about transferring it and try the cracking method on this sucker. But I'm gonna let this go. And, uh, here, let's take a look on the inside of this guy. So, it just has three chambers. This is the water pump. It circulates the water, brushes it up against here. Uh, the nutrients are all down there. The water, it's two quart, I mean, it's, uh, it's two pints. So, two cups of water, roughly. And, uh, the way I did the nutrients, I had to break it down drastically. I mean even for this, the one that it came with, it was saying, you know, the whole bottle or a teaspoon for a gallon of water. But the plant that it this thing it comes in isn't a gallon. It's only two pints. So I only put an eighth of a teaspoon of the feed. I've done it twice already <clears throat> when the water got really low and I had to change it anyway. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and empty this out. 
put some fresh water, distilled water, and um, add an eighth of a teaspoon of this. Alright, so first off, we need a plant. I'm going to get some lettuce started. So I'm going with my trusted method, seed starting miracle grow stuff. I got these two little tiny pots. I'm going to get these under my uh, my grow light in, in the bedroom. Uh, as soon as I get these potted up, it should only take three or four days to germinate. Um, I'll probably give it an extra week or two just to get some, enough roots developed before I uh, transfer them into these pots, to these um, baskets. Alright, so I'll be right back. This will probably be, a, I don't know, I'll probably post this video. Maybe MHP will watch it and let me know what this if this is work good if it's good stuff or not. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just gonna keep on messing around with it. It really got my got me interested in it. Um, I, I do lettuce horribly. It never really does well. Uh, either it stuns it, or if I plant 20 plants outside using seed tape, half of them will germinate. Out of that half will die or get eaten by um, slugs, and the other ones that do survive are actually pretty good. Not bad. All right, so I'm gonna try the hydro, so that way I have more of a controlled environment. Um, I'm planning to actually do this indoors, okay? So that the slugs can't get into any of it. Period. No slugs. All right, be right back. All right, so I got the romaine planted. I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of water right now, just a little bit. And uh, today's March 5th. Again. Yeah. The video I did yesterday, I said it was March 5th, but it was actually March 4th, so March 5th didn't repeat itself. In case you're basing your calendar on my videos and the dates I marked it at. So March 5th, I'm going to go ahead and time this. <coughs> um, I would say probably by the end of this week, those seeds will be germinated. And, uh, yeah. Back to the power plant. Got to get that emptied out. Be right back. Alright, so I went ahead and emptied this out, <clears throat> and I'm sorry, I said two cups, it's actually four cups of water that this thing holds. Alright, so this is from the refrigerator, I have a pretty good water filter on it, I change it every two years, and um, uh, zero parts per million, it's probably better than distilled water. Uh, you want fresh water, though, you don't want to use tap, unless you have to, I don't know. I know MHP Gardener does, and he balances his pH with his um, additives. Alright, so, so I'm going to go ahead and do an eighth of a teaspoon. Oh, way much. This is a quarter of a teaspoon, so <clears throat> I'm just going to do half. That will be an eighth right there. Swirl around something non reactive plastic. That mixed in and uh, go ahead and just pour it right on in. I hope this plant likes this stuff, it's not looking too pretty. Fill indicator, we're almost there. Just a splash more, which is all I got. Alright, that's at max. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this puppy back in. And uh, see how it goes. So again, this is a Trinidad Scorpion. It's been in here since um, December. Was it December, January? It was after Christmas because I got a friend one of these, and um, <clears throat> of which they still haven't used it. it pisses me off. Um, anyway, I have a policy. <laughs> I get you something you don't find a use for, you don't need it, you find yourself just throwing it, give it back to me. So I usually buy stuff that I like that I know other people would like as well, but you know, I guess not everyone's interested in gardening. Understandable. Can't force it on them. But, uh, 
Yeah, so I went out and bought one myself. Let's see how it works. And I even tried to, you know, encourage them by showing them, look, this is how you do it. I gave them a bunch of seeds that they asked for. Still didn't use it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in. And, um, I don't know. I hope this goes well. It's again, March 5th. It's a repeat day of March 5th. And I'm doing the cracky method. <laughs> and messing around with formulas and stuff. <laughs> Thank you, MHP. You really opened my eyes. Peace out.